What's up, everybody? So, Madman Ryan, man, he's crazy. He's not taking it serious. What's he doing? He's out of his mind. He's crazy. We're going to have to talk about, is this guy just a promo marketing genius, or maybe is he just that crazy and he somehow is putting things together and going in there and getting the job done? Last night, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Garcia was nothing shy of absolutely spectacular. What he was able to do to Devin Haney, you know, Devin Haney is a guy that I had mentioned in my X's and O's breakdown where I broke down this fight where I did lean towards Ryan Garcia to beat uh, Devin Haney. This was just one of those things where I was like, this guy's been fighting the consistent, better competition over his past four, five, six bouts. But I had, I had put that asterisk in there, man, saying these are all decision wins. Yes, he's winning. But when you're in there against Ryan Garcia, is that going to be enough? And what we saw last night was Ryan Garcia's power was just on a different level. The speed and the power, I, that's what I highlighted in my video saying that was probably going to be the difference in this matchup because Devin Haney does a very good job of kind of staying in your face, staying relatively safe defensively, and just accumulating damage as the fight as the bout progresses. But in a fight with Ryan Garcia, a guy who got noticeably bigger, you know, you knew that the power was going to be something coming into this matchup. His speed was on point. That left hook was money. And Devin Haney even said, look, we were preparing for that thing and it was still landing. So what we've learned from this is Ryan Garcia is just, I guess, a promo genius, man. I mean, he just had absolutely so, he had the media so convinced that this guy's not focused. He's not even taking it serious. You even heard Devin Haney at multiple times being like, I hope Ryan's taking this serious. I don't even know if he's taking it serious. This man looks spectacular. And you know, the judges' scorecards I'll throw up there for you right now. Max DeLuca scoring this 112 to 112 is absolute blasphemy. Makes no sense to me. You know, one of the things about boxing that has always been something that's kind of been the Achilles heel is one, just how corrupt the business feels, right? Just how it just never seems to, there's things that are just so suspect all the time, right? We take a look at the referee last night, you know, just on multiple occasions, things that just don't make sense, right? Ryan Garcia drops Devin Haney. He's trying to hop back on him. The ref's like, keeps checking him and, and, and this and that, and then backing up Garcia, backing him up again, separating all these different things that are just like, is this guy on Haney payroll? I mean, I don't know what the hell was going on with the referee in there? He should never ref a Ryan Garcia fight again. But at the end of the day, knockdowns obviously are valued with, you know, you can go in there and, and point fight the whole time, right? And we know Devin Haney's been in there with good competition and he's had a lot of success going the distance and winning on the judges scorecards. But when you're getting dropped and you're getting knocked down numerous times, that has to account for something. And to me, that far outweighs just sitting there playing pitter-patter, outpointing somebody and taking them to a decision. Ryan Garcia was the faster fighter. He clearly had more power. And he had Devin Haney in a world of trouble throughout this boxing match. If this is MMA, when we're looking at it, you know, when you're putting, you're knocking someone down, you're, you're stealing those rounds. And I know Devin Haney, you know, he's putting the points on the board. But at the end of the day, Ryan Garcia landed the significant shots and he was able to put Devin Haney down. Now, when we talk about this, the judging, it, it's no its no surprise to me, right? We know with boxing that the judging, the referees, like we have just seen some crazy things. And like I said, that's been the Achilles heel of boxing for so long. It's a going out for business sale every time, you know, a fight takes place pretty much, right? That's the way it seems. There's no like organized rankings like what we see in the UFC. There's no like clear line of, pro uh, of progression of what's going on. So that's been a little bit of the Achilles heel, but nonetheless... Ryan Garcia has brought life back into boxing outside of the YouTuber, influencer, whatever you want to call him, and Jake Paul, who's brought a lot of eyes to the sport. Ryan Garcia is attracting a lot of attention, man. This guy is probably, right now, I think you could say he's the biggest, he's the hottest thing in boxing right now. Because to go in there and do what he did to Devin Haney, who was undefeated, was you know a champion. And the only thing that's very unfortunate is Ryan Garcia missed weight by, I think it was like three pounds. So he doesn't get the championship belt. But he went in there and beat Haney, man. And the crazy thing is Haney losing the fight, but then still having the belts because you're still the champion. But do you really feel like the champ because you just lost? So again, Ryan needs to make weight. You know, I know he kind of spun it off and played all these games and this and that. But at the end of the day, it's disrespectful. You got to make weight. But at the end of the day, guys, that man, what he did was spectacular. It was spectacular. And it goes to show when he fought Hank, uh, Tank Davis, he was not at 100%. 
He was not at 100%. The rehydration thing definitely played a factor. I would love to see them, they, uh, Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia run that thing back at some point. And it's, isn't it odd? Isn't it so funny that just before this bout happens, we get a, a Tank Davis announcement. We get a Tank Davis fight announcement. So it's not like he was sitting there waiting and they could have announced that bout after the Ryan Garcia fight. They made sure to get that thing uh, on the books before this bout happens. So in, in the event that Ryan Garcia wins and goes out there and looks impressive because there's no rehydration clause, Look out, look out, man. Look out. But nonetheless, Ryan Garcia right now, he is making a case for being the, fa uh, the face of boxing, going in there, doing what he did. There's always been those asterisks next to Ryan Garcia, right? Has he, he's, who's he fighting? He's not fighting the top tier competition. Oh, we got dropped with a body shot against Tank Davis. He quit in there, all these different things. This man has sensational speed. He has one of the best left hooks, if not the best left hook in all in the history of combat sports. I know we've seen some good ones. Right? We need to start now recognizing that Ryan Garcia is not just always some, you know, YouTube, you know, he's just some guy that's on social media making pretty videos of him hitting the pads and this and that. This man has sensational talent. He has outstanding hand speed, some of the fastest hands we've ever seen inside the sport. He has tremendous power. We get, we noticed he got noticeably bigger. Right, And we kind of figured coming into this that he was going to have a little bit of a power advantage against Devin Haney, which is kind of what I expected. And you just saw, man, that left hook is wicked fast. Even when you're prepared for it, he still finds a way to land that thing. And nonetheless, man, I'm curious to see what Ryan Garcia does next. Because one thing we have to accredit Dan Devin Haney with as well, and we have to accredit Tank Davis to a degree because it was a rehydration clause. So I put a little bit of a, an asterisk there. Ryan Garcia is really one of the first guys that is willing to kind of put everything on the line to go in there against some of the best guys in the sport. We see boxers take these steps where, you know, they'll have all these, all these, you know, all these bouts and fights and they stay undefeated, but they don't really fight anybody, right? Until someone's older in their career. And then it's like, you know, it's, it just doesn't have the same impact and the same meaning. We have now seen Ryan Garcia in two out of his last three bouts take on Tank Davis, who arguably is maybe, you know, probably the pound for pound best boxer on the planet right now outside of Canelo. And then now he goes in there against an undefeated Devin Haney, who's a champion, knocks him down three times and wins the fight. Spectacular. Spectacular. Uh, spectacular. Stop doubting this man. I don't care what the hell he's doing outside of the thing. You know, obviously, hopefully, you know, he's okay and doesn't run himself into the ground or anything. But in terms of what he did in the ring, spectacular. But I want to hear from you all down in the comments. Like this video. Uh, comment your take below on the matchup. What, what you guys thought of this, uh, this boxing match. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I appreciate you all. See you next time.